I think you know one of the things that the National Academy of Sciences, you know, they did a study. I think it was they finished it maybe two years ago. I'm trying to remember the exact time where they looked at brucellosis in this ecosystem, and what they found was basically the biggest issue for brucellosis in this ecosystem is obviously elk. And there's uh, while they may have a lower prevalence of the disease within an overall population, they have a far greater range throughout the ecosystem. Uh, if you look at the transmission of the disease from uh, from wildlife to uh, cattle, it has been done be through elk as the vector. Uh, so it's interesting to me that that bison can continue to be vilified, you know, as as the problem with this whole issue, where elk have been the proven, if you will, vector for the disease, have a much broader uh, area throughout the landscape, and and I think um, until we can start to, to really, outside of the park, look at these things um, sort of collectively and look at them as, you know, do we have a problem that we want to take care of? And if we do, are we going to deal with the issue? Are we going to deal with elk in some way? I think that, uh, that bison are being unfairly targeted as, as a, the species of concern and uh, something that uh, we talk about often with uh, our friends in the States.